finally, some good news on the environmental uh, front. Yesterday, the Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Molewa, announced a drop in the cases of rhino poaching. For the first six months of this year, compared to the same time last year, there were 13 less rhino poached. In the Kruger National Park, uh, there was a 31% drop in poaching since January this year. Uh, to unpack all of this for us, we've got in studio Minister Edna Molewe uh, to just fill us in a little bit more. Uh, Minister, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you very much, Leanne. Uh, even though we are here for environmental matters, first of all, I would like us to follow suit to South Africans to um, pass our condolences to the dear brother who passed on, yes. Rani Mamwep. Rani Mamwep, of mm. course. I know. I mean, we spoke yeah. about him uh, so at, uh, at, at length yesterday, and I think mm. everybody's so saddened by this. Saddened, it really is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you obviously had a great relationship with him. Yeah, I mean, he'd no, been, great, yeah. he jumped from so many different departments. Absolutely. Did you have a close working relationship Very with him? Very close working relationship with him throughout, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our youthful days, and uh, yeah, we very kind man yeah young as he was actually he was younger than i am but young as he was very respectful very charming to everybody equally young ones smaller than yeah younger than him yeah. and even older like me yeah. yeah yeah he just was respectful very hard working yes mm. which is a committed. great example to everybody Indeed. and that's why we've got to work so hard exactly. for him to actually to preserve this heritage of ours yeah i'm sure the family and mm. uh, everybody appreciating mm. those condolences so thank you very much for for passing those on mm. um on to the business of hand let's keep the working the, the mm. working environment going i mean i'm i'm actually quite happy uh, having you here in studio because normally we're talking about you know doom and gloom and the figures yeah. just keep on rising but it seems now that there's a trend of it going down what's happening let me just very quickly unpack this you know just a few years ago where uh, the team of experts came to me it's about three four years ago and said minister if we are not doing stepping up the efforts as we are not that we're not doing anything we will begin to break even in a space of two years mm. and then have a downward spiral we have to do all in our power now to fight and fight hard we then decided to introduce measures uh, took some measures to cabinet to say we need to work collectively now in an integrated manner and i think that's what actually brought this big difference because now various uh, departments uh, agencies and so forth are beginning to work together, actually working together from police side internationally as well with those international bodies because look uh, much as we could have been making difference uh, here in South Africa but when we get to the end of our waters where our aeroplanes begin taking off we were not in charge there yeah but now we're now beginning to have uh, you know support from that end but South Africans played a very big role awareness uh, Lian yeah you will not just you know begin to think about how this awareness campaign that you also as media did mm. actually helped us because everybody was out there saying we are fighting as South Africans. But what are the trends now? We actually have, in the Kruger National Park where we were hardest hit, begun to introduce training of every ranger. Remember, rangers have got to do work on conservation, of conservation. But we then trained them. Uh, we had a general there who put plans for us, uh, segmented that Kruger National Park into what we call intensive protected zones, congregated these uh, uh, animals in a space where we can actually monitor them and protect them in one space, but took out others. So there were several measures, translocations to other countries on the continent to build other range states because we realized that we have bigger numbers here. And the more we have bigger numbers, there are no rhinos. Not that we are availing them for poaching, but people then come to us. And if they are everywhere else, we would be growing the numbers everywhere. Throughout the country, we did the translocation of 100, uh, 200, almost uh, 200 animals were translocated to other areas. They're doing well. They are multiplying better than they would have uh, yeah. in the Kruger National Park. We had orphans, we had introduction of uh, uh, electronic systems, now our own homegrown radar system that actually tells us many kilometers away, from many kilometers away where that there are insurgents. That's the reason why we now no longer having these insurgents. We used to have insurgents in the Kruger National Park. They were saying about 10 per day. Those are sure. attempts and they walk in pairs in threes. 
10 or so per day. Now we have pushed them out of the Kruger National Park. People who have arrested, you see the arrests have actually grown outside the Kruger National Park adjacent, meaning that the movement inside is no longer yes, as heavy. So it's as not it as heavy at all. And mm. also, I mean, when we, look at the, when we look at some of these cases, and there are very heavy sentences that are being oh, yes. uh, put down on them. I mean, if we look at the, at the figures, there have been 15 cases of poaching uh, that have been finalized, 22 convictions. The perpetrators are serving a total of 95 years imprisonment. Um, if, we, if we're looking at these cases um, still on a daily basis, though, uh, are, are you seeing that there, there are still, is it just that um, the demand hasn't dropped, but it's the fact that the conviction rate is higher and you're finding people being caught, or are there not so many anymore? Let me just talk about the demand even before I come to court cases. You see, as I say, we were looking, we are looking at this fight from a multidisciplinary point of view. We had groups of where the demand is much higher. Coming to South Africa of younger generations, artists and so forth, and we showed them carcasses uh, of uh, dead uh, rhino. Mm. And we, they began, you know, being aware. They went back. This group was but actually two groups. One was taken there by a South African company on at its own you know, cost and so forth, having raised a few rands and cents uh, from other donors or so. So they are busy in Vietnam in particular with the education on the demand management. And because there, if the demand goes down, then you'll be able to drive the, the poaching a, a bit down. Because if we do not have the demand going down, we'll still, you know, have all measures here. But people will still be coming. Indeed. So it's a, it's a multifaceted approach that we are introducing. The, the conviction rate as well. A few years ago, I stood here with just talking about that case of uh, the Thai person, Tam Lee, Tao Tao, or yes, a difficult name, indeed, yeah. one person. Today we are giving you a list of 95 years altogether. And that's, by the way, just in amongst 15 of a convicted people. I, we haven't added the other list of the, the, the years and other cases that are there. So the conviction rate has also started coming higher, and we're very glad about Minister, it. Minister, we, we're running out of time, but they're, they're just, I mean, I, I cannot wrap this interview without talking about that expose that uh, International News Network Al Jazeera did, and at the same time was implicating State Security Minister David Mflobo. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm mm -hmm. swallowing my tongue here. Okay. Um, and he was linked to these cases of rhino poaching. What are the developments there? Well, uh, the minister has himself opened a case uh, which has to be investigated by people and tell him because he is actually claiming defa defamation. But what we know, uh, 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 Lian, is that Minister Matlobo was in the provincial government when he went to that salon many years ago, about seven, eight years ago when he was not even related to this. Now, many of us, how, how many salons have you gone to for massage seven years ago or so? So when he comes into this space, nothing was ever said in between. I'm asking these questions. In between the seven years and the time he became Minister of State Security. So what could have actually been the cause of raising this matter now? Because he has not been to that salon last week or last year. It's many years ago. What makes this case uh, uh, be, ra ris uh, I mean, be raised? The issue is this one. We have information, and I've been dealing with this matter, by the way, yeah. in the Kruger National Park, that this particular person who was on Al Jazeera had a partner in South Africa on a technology company, which the Board of Sun Parks actually terminated. It didn't go well with the person. The South African, when he had that, the, the, there were allegations made that, the allegations, by the way, we were saying, this is the minister who stopped me from using their technology. That's the reason why there was this squabble. Uh, that, I mean, this allegation that was raised, it was because of this suspicion by this person. Now I'm saying, there's no basis for that suspicion even because when Technology, when the person was, I mean, the company was, uh, the st contract was stopped, Minister Marshall was not even in that department. He mm. was not even in national government. I took that decision together with the board, not even at his, uh, as his, so it's even more strange indeed that you have a person raising this as a reason. So we're saying, let him come with facts yeah. so that we actually investigate. He 
then vanished. So what do we do? We're waiting for him. Help us, South Africans, find this man so that we actually have facts that he calls facts. For us, the allegations have remained allegations. All right, so we have to keep watching on that one and seeing the developments on it. But as it stands right now, uh, nobody to answer questions as to where these allegations came from. Um, Minister, thank you very, very much for joining us here on the program. Um, the good news here, and I'm sure you're as happy and relieved as I am to hear this, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Indeed. And it's still the pressure that needs to keep up. But the reality is that there seems to be, or there is a decrease in rhino poaching, and that certainly is for this 2017 year. Uh, to give you those numbers again, compared to the same time last year, there were 13 less rhino poached. It's still a high number, though. Um, there was, uh, compared to 529 last year, there were 542. Uh, 42. So it's still a very big number, but we are seeing a bit of a decrease and also 31% drop in the Kruger National Park since the beginning of this year. Great news. All right, uh, that's the end of uh, that interview. Let's